What is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so I have some homemade chocolate cake here today because it is my one year post-grad anniversary of working full time. Woo! And so with the cake, honestly, I was going to maybe go and buy some cupcakes, but then they're like $3.50 a pop. And then so it's like $18 for six. But then I was like... Oh, technically you're saving money for six, but do I really want to spend $20 on six cupcakes when I can have chocolate cake at home? So I went with the cheaper option and here is my chocolate cake for this one year celebration. It's so moist and good and still warm from the oven. Is moist a yay or a nay word? <laughs> Do you all like that word or dislike that word? Now I'm afraid I'm gonna like have it in my teeth while filming, which is not good. Anyways, so I asked you all on Instagram if you had any questions for me, life update, post-grad update kinds of questions. So basically in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the major themes that I saw throughout those questions. If you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, ask questions for other videos, definitely head over to Instagram. I'm not like super influencer yet posting on Instagram actual pictures pictures because I like don't do anything to take photos of myself kind of thing but I do post on my stories so definitely check that out and if you're new to my channel hello my name is Rachel I graduated from UC Berkeley in the class of 2020 where I double majored in cognitive science and legal studies and so it has been my one year I started at this law firm job last October and so now I October 2021, officially one year in this position, which is totally insane how quickly time flies. I'm like, <laughs> how did this happen? It was just October 2020 filming my like first day of work video. And then now it's like 2021, one year in this job. It, I, my mind is blown, which there have been some new hires, which I've helped do like training sessions and stuff with. And they always ask like, oh, how long did it take you to feel comfortable in this role kind of thing? And honestly, I would even say like three months to six months to feel like confident in the role, to feel like I'm doing a good job because when you're just starting out in a new thing, like it's hard to gauge where you're at, like how slowly or quickly did other people pick up in this role? So yeah, I don't know. I was super like stressed down on myself at the beginning and even now like sometimes work can be so stressful like I already have gray hairs at 23 so I'm really trying to work on like stress management and like breathing and stuff because like during work, after work, sometimes I have this like huge stress pit in my stomach and I'm like this is going to form into something really really bad and like burn my stomach because of stress and it's just like really not good so I've been like going on walks with the dog and things like that to get out and like not be so stressed about things like I just can't believe it's been one year already so that's a work update and then there were some questions about going back to Berkeley do I miss Berkeley and I would say yes and no like I do miss college but I don't necessarily miss taking tests, having no free time, studying 24-7. Maybe that was my own fault in college, taking 20 units a semester while working three jobs, didn't really have much free time there because you're always in class studying at work. So I don't necessarily miss that aspect of school, but the aspects of college that I do miss, like living so close to all of your college friends, literally like have not seen any any of my college friends since March 2020 so that is a long time to not see people that you're so close with it's also compounded by like the pandemic and everyone living in different parts of the country for their full-time post-grad jobs so that's a big bummer I also miss learning and just like being able to sit in a classroom every day surrounded by a lot of really really intelligent inspirational peers
years. Like, I really liked that aspect of school. And I miss the structure of going to college. Like, you have your whole Google Calendar nicely set up. I've had a bunch of videos about organization, Google Calendar, tips like that. And so I would make my Google Calendar look so nice. I would know where I need to be at every second of the day, when I'm in class, studying, getting lunch with friends, going to work. Like, I like that because there's variation even though you're in class for five days a week. Now, when you're in work, you don't really have that variation of, oh, different classes, I'm learning different things, but at work, it's sort of repetitive that you're doing a lot of very similar things every single day versus school. You get to learn and do different things. It's not like every day you're taking the same class and you're only learning the same thing in every class, but by week, you're learning different things in all of your classes, which, yeah, I, I do miss that part. And ever going to visit Berkeley again, potentially, a friend was actually messaging me saying like, oh yeah, like come visit, stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, you know, maybe for vacation or like visiting college friends that are still in the Bay Area, yes. But other than that, I like don't necessarily have a reason just to like fly out to Berkeley for the weekend or anything. And like with that, Berkeley did have a graduation for the class of 2020 in August, which was just like a weekend thing on a Sunday. You can go and walk the stage, all the ceremonies, things like that, which I unfortunately did not attend because like I've said before for like Thanksgiving break, going to an out-of-state college really doesn't make sense to go across the country now, take time off work to go there to do like a two-day graduation thing similarly for Thanksgiving doesn't make sense to fly home for a four-day Thanksgiving break like two of those days are full of traveling and then the time zone differences and stuff like it just sort of far to go for like a weekend trip you know Another big question was about law school, grad school, do I want to go to more schooling? And I would say for this, yes and no as well. Yes for law school because like I was saying, I do miss schooling and I have a bunch of friends that are in law school right now. Like just learning about all of the different areas of law would be so interesting, I think. But I think right now and like the reason why I wanted to work rather than going straight from undergrad into law school or grad school or anything like that would be to see is law school something that I really want to do? Obviously, law school is super expensive. And so I think with a decision like that, you really need to be sure. And when you're applying to law school, you have to do a lot of like personal statements. Why do you want to go to law school? And I think right now for me, I don't think I have a good enough answer to answer that question of why law school, why X area of law specifically. And so for me, I need to figure that out for myself rather than doing something just for the sake of doing something or writing those application essays and not being truly passionate about whatever topic area of law that you're wanting to go into that you're writing about so that's what I need to focus on like figuring that kind of stuff out and really knowing for sure like why do I want to do this so going into post-grad life how am I doing you know when you're growing up they are telling you all of these things okay elementary middle school high school you're focused on going to college and then once you're in college you're focused on getting a job but no one ever really talks about what happens after you get a job and like after college it's sort of hard to be post-grad especially in the pandemic now when you're in school in college you have things to look forward to you can look forward to winter break summer break like starting an internship but now when you're in a job I feel like there's less things to look forward to unless you're planning like trips or doing things super special on the weekends to look forward to and then now also with the pandemic for me I can't really tell like am I being a homebody having social anxiety about going out hanging out with friends but also like not wanting to go into large groups and stuff like that because of the pandemic so it's a weird thing to balance is this me being nervous to go into group settings and hang out with friends or will this anxiety like subside so I feel like that's been weird to grasp and I feel like post-grad life especially now with the pandemic has been 
sort of lonely in the sense that I'm not hanging out with people, like I don't see people, I'm doing the same thing every single day, going to work and then after work, I have free time, I've been reading. So sometimes it feels like maybe I need to be doing more because I was so busy in college, now having this free time post-grad, I'm like, am I wasting my time? Am I wasting my life? Like, should I be doing more things? I don't know, it's like a weird, it's weird. <laughs> I feel sort of, like not stuck, I guess, but like flatlining, it's like, yes, I'm doing things, but am I moving forward? Like, am I reaching whatever goals? Do I need to maybe create some goals to be moving forward and like reaching towards something? Because when you're in school, you're reaching towards an internship, you're studying for these exams and you're getting grades back. You're reaching towards getting a job after graduation. And now I'm just like, I don't know. I need to like have something out there that I'm like working towards, I guess, or like to feel less stagnant. I think that's a good word where I'm at. I don't know. That's, that's how I'm feeling. And so finally, the last thing that I'm going to be talking about is that I actually have a new job. Woohoo! And I guess not really a new job, but it's more like a second job. It's like a part-time job that I'm going to be starting soon. And so that's why I haven't really talked about it because I don't really want to talk about things that like haven't happened yet, if that makes sense. I will probably talk about it more next month in November so like sorry to be that kind of person that like says something but doesn't say it fully and I'm really excited for it anyways it is getting very hot in the car I feel like car videos you can just speak your mind and just share and now it's getting very hot so I'm going to go back inside but I wanted to say thank you all so much for watching definitely give this video a big thumbs up to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me thank you all so so much again and I will see you all next time bye